Hello, and welcome to our video where we'll go into a bit more detail about GeForce Now. For the uninitiated, this is a cloud gaming service, which means you can technically play any game from its library on laptops, PCs, phones, tablets, and even TVs, as long as you've got a decent internet. In other words, even if you are using a base M1 Mac with only 8 gigs, you can, for example, still play Doom the Dark Ages on it with high graphics without worrying about its lack of macOS support. There are many other cloud services including Boosteroid, xCloud, Amazon Luna, and more, but GFN is the largest and best known one. A quick disclaimer, this video shares our honest opinion and experience with the service and is in no way sponsored by GeForce Now. Also, if you are interested in exploring other cloud gaming solutions we recommend, you can check our Boosteroid video linked in the description. Now, to learn how to use GeForce Now and get the best possible experience out of it, be sure to watch this video till the end. It's easy to get started with GFN. Just visit its site, join in, and choose a subscription plan. There's a free plan option, which is decent for getting a general idea of the service's capabilities, but it's pretty limiting if you decide to use GFN long-term. You'll usually have to wait in a queue for 10 plus minutes and have a one hour limit on your gaming sessions with the free plan. Also, ads, but you already knew to expect that from a free plan. My suggestion is to test the waters with the free plan, but transition to the performance or ultimate plans if you choose to stay with the service. Performance costs $9.99 a month or $49.99 for 6 months and lets you stream with up to 1440p and 60fps. For 4K 240fps streams, you'll need to upgrade to GeForce Ultimate, which is $19.99 per month or $99.99 for 6 months. Ultimate also gives you some extra perks, such as ultra-wide screen support and DLSS frame generation for certain games. Whichever option you choose, once you've picked a plan and registered, it's time to download the GeForce Now app which has versions for Windows and Mac OS. You can also play through the browser, but the app generally works better. After you install the application and log in, I suggest you first visit the settings section and open connections to connect any game stores you normally use to your GFN account. Just click connect next to the respective game store, provide your logins, done. Next, go to the gameplay section and click test network to see whether your connection meets GFN's requirements. Now if your internet doesn't meet the recommended requirements, your experience with the service may not be perfect, but there are ways to mitigate this. In the same settings tab, set the streaming quality mode to custom and make the following changes. First, keep the max bitrate on auto, but lower the resolution. If your internet is really bad, choose one of the lowest options. Yes, the image quality won't be ideal, but at least you'll hopefully minimize the amount of stuttering while playing. Also, set your FPS to 60 or even 30. Playing with 30 FPS isn't great, but it's better than a choppy stream. Keep the VSync setting on adaptive and make sure that the adjust for poor network conditions option is turned on. With these settings applied, you should minimize the bandwidth requirements and get an optimal GFN streaming performance, even with a not so great internet. From my experience with the service, I was able to get some decent gaming sessions using a 30 megabits per second Wi-Fi internet with around 50 to 60 latency and keeping my resolution capped at 1080p and FPS at 60. This isn't perfect but still totally workable, and once I tried with a 50 megabit per second ethernet connection with about 30 latency, everything ran smoothly and with minimal hiccups, even when streaming with a 4K resolution to my external monitor. In my opinion, GFN streams can be perfectly okay with a wireless internet, but you need to make sure your latency is as low as possible. Otherwise, you will notice that the game isn't running locally, and obviously, wired connection is your best bet if it's an option. So that was our video on how to get the optimal gaming experience with the GeForce Now service. If you think this service isn't the right fit for you or just want to explore other similar options, check out the video that should now appear on your screen for an alternative service we also highly recommend. Also, be sure to visit our site linked in the description where all your Mac gaming questions will be answered. Take care and see you next time.